We literally are on a path to Libre, Seleucia. This is why taking a tour guide might be your best bet. So let's see if we go the right way, or I should say the left way in this case. So here we see Seleucia. Up on the hill, there's the ruins there, part of. We're gonna go up that hill. You can see this is very defensible. That's why people lived up here. It was very difficult for anybody to come attack them, and they would definitely have warning. We are literally on a path to the past. Glad I'm not doing this and there's heavy traffic, because otherwise, I don't know how you get through here. It's definitely uh, skinny up here. This looks more like a walking path, and this is the only road up here that I know of. Several years ago, there was a major fire that went through here. All this was burned. That's why the trees still look dead. As you can see, this is a highly defensible area from the people that lived up here. Supposedly, they settled here in the second millennia BC. So 4,000 years ago, supposedly, there was some tribes that came up here, some local people, and then there's no real evidence of it yet. They just suspect that because of just the way the populations were and then the cities were built on top of cities throughout the years through the Byzantine going back, Roman going back, Greek. And it's just amazing views from up here. Sea day, the Mediterranean is that way. All right, so let's head on up to Seleucia. Let's go. This would have been a main gate. There's a lot of walls missing here. It's still very rough. This area was not pillaged by people looking for building material because of its remoteness from where other people built. So there's still a lot of this standing, which is really cool. So many ancient cities were plundered for the rocks because it's an above ground quarry already. And as we cross into the city, you can start to see the Agora area that we're gonna go in through. The necropolis, the necropolis church, the bath building, temples. We've got this place to ourselves. This is so cool. The bugs are so loud here. It reminds me of cicadas. Just imagine, at one time, this is a pretty busy place. It wasn't so populated, supposedly, and I'm guessing they know that based on the amount of foundations of houses of what's left. But also in the area, you also had to feed people. So there's a lot that they can kind of guess, but you could also see a lot's missing. There probably were some earthquakes that happened here over time. There were some pretty big ones in the area centuries ago. Nothing recent. But just what an incredible view. And again, the trees, you can see what's left from the fires. Dr. Zalia Nan, I hope I got her name right. She was up here with a team in 1972 to 1979. She was the only one that really did excavation. A lot of the statues and mosaics were taken to the Antalya Museum where they're at. So there's not a lot of original here, but they did preserve it. All right, let's head into the Agora. You definitely need to have sure footing through here because the rocks are definitely not fixed. There's just all kinds of places to go here. Let's go this way, let's check this thing. This looks like maybe an old shop that would have been here. Let's see if we can get up in here. This is a good climb. <laughs> pretty cool in here. 
Well, don't mind the garbage. It just means somebody collected it up. But this semicircle area is probably where they had some pretty good discussions. Maybe some theater. I got a feeling somewhere in here about where I'm standing, the order might have stood. And then they would have talked to people up around here. And there's obviously some wall missing, as you can tell. It's here. I see actually some remnants here in the floor where it's carved out. This looks like maybe steps that went down. And things have changed quite a bit over the years. Obviously from upheavals, possibly earthquakes, erosion. Probably look a lot different. All right, let's go up here. Let's see what this looked like from the audience's perspective. Let's see what else we discover. Ooh, we see another cave portal to somewhere. <laughs> Not sure where that goes. Definitely gotta watch your footing. These rocks are not connected very well. This looks like an excavated area. I'm thinking the archeologist in 72 to 79 got in here and really did some good work. You do not want to be climbing up on some of this stuff. First of all, you can wreck it and get hurt, so be careful. This could have been very different back in the day. I think the ground would have been caved very nicely. And now there's trees that have fallen. And it looks like they're just leaving them as they fall. And be careful when you're walking because that one step can definitely be the wrong step. So here we are in the Agora and to my right are probably what were shops and I got a feeling there was two floors, maybe three floors, in some of these houses. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go around the corner here and let's see what we can see. I'm gonna find out what's down this way some. So let's see. We can see. Definitely watch your footing. There are no good paths. There's only some paths. So you definitely wanna watch yourself. The rocks are definitely moving under my feet. Oh, let's see what looks like maybe some ancient writing. And it's gravelly, slippery, so be careful. Now it looks like these rocks here have crumbled down. Oh, there's an entryway there. Let's come down this way. This really collapsed over time. Hopefully it's much stabler now. Let's see if we can do this. Should be okay. Looks pretty solid at least at this point. But it looks like everything fell down. Oh, let's go this way. This is down to the storage area. Or what we call the storage area. Let's see what we can see here. 